Let's get another check at our weather now. Vanessa Murdoch is here now with the forecast. Vanessa. Well, it is going to be another stormy stretch for us with the chance again for flash flooding. We just endured torrential rain and flash flooding Thursday, Friday. Again, more powerful storms. Thankfully, at the moment over the city, we do have low cloud cover, but no storms just yet. But in a couple of hours, they'll be rolling through the first round of strong storms. No severe storms at the moment, but tomorrow afternoon through early Tuesday, yeah, we expect them. There is a chance every single day for storms through the work week into the early part of next weekend and high humidity as well. And this only helps to add fuel to the storms. Now, tomorrow into early Tuesday, we are looking at, in addition to the potential for flash flooding, powerful winds, maybe damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Hail, not a big threat tomorrow, but an isolated tornado is a possibility. Something to keep in mind. Now, as far as what happened today, overall is pretty good, right? We did have some showers rolling through occasionally 78 degrees. It was seven degrees below normal. And now as we look forward in the forecast, it's going to be 84 tomorrow, feeling closer to 90. And then as we make our way to midweek and beyond, temperatures soar into the upper 80s and low 90s. All the while, humidity levels will be oppressive through the entirety of your work week. It is not going to feel comfortable out there. And again, that humidity only enhances the instability in our atmosphere. Showers and storms rolling into the western section of Jersey right now, as well as Sullivan, Ulster counties. You're going to see this line making its way east at about 30 miles per hour. It'll be over the city closer to, let's say, 1.30, 2 a.m. And then tomorrow afternoon into evening and overnight, we're going to be dealing with severe storms, potentially flash flooding. So let's talk about why. There is this nearby front. It is going to basically move back and forth overhead. In addition, we are saturated. Those low clouds you saw in that live picture because there's so much moisture in the atmosphere. So it is extreme, folks. In addition, the jet stream is cranking right over top of us. And what that helps to do is lift the air up and out and essentially make those storms even stronger by allowing for stronger pull up and the faster the storm or the air rises, the heavier the downpours become, the stronger the storm. So it is just a perfect setup for us to get slammed by storms tomorrow. One to three inches of rainfall, some isolated areas up to five inches possible. So this is why the National Weather Service says, hey, flash flood watch goes into effect at two tomorrow afternoon. And before the storms crank through, it will feel like 90 in the city, closer to triple digits inland out on the island, feeling like the mid 80s. As we look at the extended forecast, you'll see those flashing storm icons. Essentially every single day, the exception would be Thursday, 10% chance. Then Sunday right now, we are keeping track. Allie, back to you. All right. Thanks, Vanessa.